Hey. Hitting estate sales today, I'm gonna get some new stuff. I'm gonna go to Rockford, but stopping in one place in Madison first. Ooh, same. Okay, just pulling up to the first place in Madison before we head out to Rockford. All right, we just left that sale. I meant to, I always mean to shoot video when we're in there, but we're so busy looking that I don't think yeah, to do it. We're usually in a rush too. Yeah, we're usually in a rush. Also because we have like an hour drive ahead of us now, but a friend of mine said that he had gone to that sale and it had already been picked clean and he went yesterday and we weren't going till today. And I didn't believe him. So I'm glad I didn't because we actually made out really well there. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff. There's a lot of stuff I got just because I think there's things I can do with it um, or use it for pictures or artwork or something. But uh, the guy running it, we, we go to his estate sales a lot and he gave us a pretty good deal. So it was fun overall. Weird house too. It was, it was really, it was like the place was made in the 80s and then held in a time capsule and then opened up today. It was very strange because there was nothing that seemed like it was modern day in there at all, like nothing. Anyway, all right, off to Rockford. This is Jim Rockford. At the tone, leave your name and message. I'll get back to you. ba ba bum ba ba na 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 All right. Okay, so about an hour later, we made it down to Rockford and uh, we got about a half hour to spare. So I'm gonna just jump right in. All right, so we had to stop and get some gas. I wanted to take a look at, just show you the stuff that we got. These boxes are filled and then we got some more down in the trunk there. So. We were able to do okay at that. Actually, very good at that sale in Rockford. Ba -ba -bum -ba -ba -na 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 -na. So it was worth the trip going down there. But uh, now as we're leaving, I swear we had three boxes and we only have two fill in the back seat here. So we actually had to call and see if we left something behind, which since we were at the end of the estate sale, we can't really go over there because they're closed. They've left, they're gone and we're in another state, so we can't really just go and say, we'll be there tomorrow. They actually called us back and we're waiting to see, but they had several sales going on today. So I'm not sure if all this is here. We'll have to wait till we get home and take a look at this stuff, which will be another hour drive. So we'll see you, we'll see you in a few, but it's gonna be an hour for us. Okay, so we're back home and I got two carts full of stuff here. It was actually a much bigger haul than I, Thought it would be. All right, so let's go through the Rockford boxes already. Ba -ba -bum -ba -ba -na 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 -na. That's for people if you actually know what the hell I'm talking about. Most people have no idea what that means. Found a few frame tray puzzles, My Little Pony, and Glow Friends. Go to the head of the class, Parcheesi. I never got this game. We had it and I, I still, I don't feel like I've ever really known how to play this game. A set of puzzles for rascals, 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 and then Poochie. It was like a dog doll, but you could comb its hair and it wore like hip glasses and stuff. I don't know. These were all around the time of like the shirt tails popularity. Blockhead game. Yeah. Take the blocks and stack them. Fisher Price, like radio toy box stadium checkers that's all of them falling around in there cuz they're marbles peanuts puzzle it's a halloween one cinderella 200 piece puzzle which usually these are much less pieces much less pieces you know what i mean yahtzee from 1973 I almost flew forward there mixing faces i feel like it's self-explanatory but that's that. A gingerbread man game. Like that. Kind of seems like Candyland. Like it's for kids and all it is, it's really colors and shapes. And a sorry board game. Clue Master Detective version. 
which means it's this much thicker and heavier. And then they said, yes, but what about the Clue Museum caper? And this one stacks. It's actually got like rooms and crap in it. Boy. All right, and then in here, let's see what other games we got. Game of the States. Again, a lot of these seem self-explanatory, but it's uh, who sells the most from coast to coast. So it's like Monopoly, but with states. A newer version of Perfection, but I believe it's newer in the sense that it's the 80s instead of the 70s. It's the game where everything blows up in your face. Careers, a game of careers. I actually just really like this cover. It looks like an old UPN cartoon, like the title card. I also found a few wooden tray puzzles, but of course the pieces fell out in the box, so I can't, oh, that one's still together. Goldilocks, and then this Mickey Mouse magnetic plastic puzzle is still wrapped up, so that's handy. Then if we get to the room that had all the books that I showed you, I picked out these books. <laughs> I'm not gonna go through every single one of them because I seriously cleaned that room out of books, or at least ones that were usable. So I got this many, some Care Bears, some Sesame Street, like here's a, here's a Care Bears book, I'll show you that one. And then a lot of them are some random Sesame Street things. Some of these really big Peter Pan picture books based on the movie, but they actually have original art in them. It's not art from the movie. Some other illustrated books, Richard Scary books. They actually had a whole bunch of these little Smurf books. I've seen one or two of them and Care Bear ones. They're not worth a lot, but they're just really neat. And I think that having a whole collection of them is really cool. And then some more books. Some of these were about like automobiles and planes, but they also have like really 1950s and 1960s style drawings in them. And I dug that, so I picked up a few of them. Like this one, some of them had the dust covers and some of them just had the regular covers, but the inside artwork's really cool. Then some more books, and that's just the first box. Still had some more books here. Happiness is a Warm Puppy, Charles Schultz. It's actually a picture book and it's got him on the back of it. I don't know if I've ever seen the dust cover on this one. More books, a large version of this really cool but very creepy Frosty the Snowman book. I've gotten a few different versions of this, but never one in this big of a size. Frosty just kind of seems like an evil demon in this one, even though it's not meant that, well, of course it's not meant that way at all. A collection of small Raggedy Ann and Andy books. And this Fisher Price phone. I don't, know. I don't even know if it does anything. It has a button on it. Oh, it's battery powered. We'll see what it does later. Okay, and then in the other cart, this is so that was all the Rockford stuff. Ba -ba -bum -ba -ba -na 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 -na. This is now we're going into that first house we stopped at. Instamatic camera that we found in the box. The box is actually really neat too. Display one. So there's the camera and the Instamatic. And take all your 70s reflecting retina shots. Joe Cool. Roadrunner. Me, me. Ooh, I did that really well. Fozzie. Ah. Ah. I want to say Babar, maybe. Elephant with a hat. Goofy. A hook. Honker. Hunkers. And the first place also had some books. There were a few comic books in there, like uh, some Walt Disney ones. Like these are ones that I kind of like. Uh, Flintstone and Pebbles. Bugs Bunny, four color comic. Wheelie and the Chopper Bunch, based on the television series. And then another Wheelie and the Chopper Bunch. Then they had some coloring books and things like that too. So I picked them up, but a lot of the coloring books were drawn in. I just really like the artwork. Why am I way over here? There we go. We got an Aeriotical lab kit. So model planes. I don't know why they had to be, just call it model planes, but it's a kit so you can create a bunch of them. stuff on the back. Houdini master magic set. Starter set, of course. Ring abound. I just love sometimes when I bring the games up, they all fall down. A lot of air themed things there. Here's another kit for making planes. It's got like the whole 
whole bunch of different wings and stuff that you can put together inside here. There was a whole stack of records and there happened to be some kids ones in there. Children's favorites, sleigh bells and stuff. Can't read it. Richard Scarry's What Do People Do All Day, narrated by Carol Channing. Happy birthday party, no clue. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer album, right there. There he is. Never seen Rudolph with a hairdo before. And then a few more coloring books. So I got Captain America, Sesame Street, Return of the Jedi, Happy Santa, Empire Strikes Back, and then Adventures in Haunted Mansion by Crayola Crayons. That was everything we did today. There's a pile of stuff right here in front of me, so I'm talking to you from an angle, but that's it. That's what we got from this entire trip.